Where do breakthroughs come from? Sometimes the biggest breakthroughs begin with one small opportunity. Every year, more than 22,000 people in the United States develop an aggressive brain tumor. And while doctors and researchers have made progress in the fight against brain tumors, even the few treatments we do have often fall short because the cancer cells find a way to grow back. If things stay the same, more than 10,000 people will succumb to their tumors each year. We must do better for our community. And we may have a tremendous opportunity to do just that. One that starts with a single cell. A tumor starts as a single cell with mutated DNA. When that faulty DNA replicates, it produces more and more cancerous cells. Doctors traditionally use chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery to treat a brain tumor. Unfortunately, often none of these are fully capable of killing all the cancerous cells in the tumor. So, even though these treatments damage the cancer cell's DNA, some of the cells can repair their DNA and ultimately grow back as strong as before. This process of DNA repair is called DNA damage response, and it allows the cells to keep multiplying. But some of the world's leading scientists and physicians are asking a new question. What if we could interrupt the DNA damage response in the cells of brain tumors? This approach is already showing promise in other hard-to-treat cancers. Scientists believe that disrupting DNA damage response may be an Achilles heel for many different malignant brain tumor types, leaving them vulnerable to a new class of drugs called DNA damage repair inhibitors. These drugs block our body's ability to continue to repair damaged DNA in tumor cells. So when a tumor is treated with chemotherapy or radiation, those cancerous cells stay unrepaired and die. This new approach could even usher in the next wave of innovative treatments. But the brain is complex. Individual scientists and physicians working alone might each only have one piece of the puzzle. So we wondered, what if we could support not only scientists and their research, but also provide the opportunity they need to make breakthroughs together? At the National Brain Tumor Society, we've created the DNA Damage Response Consortium a pioneering network of world-class researchers. When we bring the best of the research world together, we can rapidly test different drugs in the lab and see which treatments work against which types of tumors. Using those findings, scientists will be able to start clinical trials faster and match the right treatments with the right patients. This is a full-force effort that harnesses the latest evolution in our understanding of brain tumors, one that will provide hope to millions of patients caregivers and their loved ones. From cutting edge research at the cellular level to convening networks and communities across the country, this is an opportunity we are all building together. To learn more about this new initiative and NBTS, visit braintumor.org slash DDRC.